So welcome to this video lecture number four in this lecture series on digital forensics with me, Joachim Shavrestor from the University of Hovde. And as you may notice, the lecture number four will be divided into uh, several parts following the, uh, the book Fundamentals of Digital Forensics. Uh, the chapter four uh, in this lecture series will focus on some different artifacts that I think is uh, extra important to have good knowledge about as a forensic examiner. So the topic for this part is metadata and EXIF data. So metadata is essentially information about uh, about files. So as you can read in the book and as you may know uh, from before, every file saved in a computer is saved together with other information. So for example, if you look at the files that I have here, if you right click a file in Windows and take properties you'll see information such as the file size, the file location, size on disk, uh, created, modified and access timestamps. Those are all examples of this metadata. And when you're working with Windows, uh, as with most modern operating systems, there is a few timestamps that a file system will save, uh, create for you, uh, or a few pieces of this meta information. And those are called NTFS metadata in the Windows environment. And those are, uh, for instance, if you go to uh, if you go to the details tab here, you can find information such as the file name, the file type, uh, when it was created or modified, and also who who the owner is uh, of the file. So this is basic file file metadata that can of course be important for a forensic exam uh, examiner because it tells us when the file was last modified, when the file was created on the disk where it is, who the owner of the file is, if that becomes an issue during some investigation, and it also tells uh, tells the file type and stuff like that. Uh, but what is more interesting is that some file types uh, actually maintain, or some programs maintain metadata of their own, and perhaps the most commonly used is EXIF data, uh, that is basically metadata that is uh, that is for pictures, and this EXIF information or EXIF data is created by the camera that takes the picture and can record all types of interesting information. So there can be a serial number of the device that took the, uh, took the picture, it can be the name of the device that took the picture, and it can even be coordinates that describe where the picture was taken. So if we just do the same, and we're in the Win Windows Explorer here, and we go to the demonstration picture of me, and right-click it, and and take properties and uh, then we can see again that we have this NTFS metadata here that tells us when it was created which is when it was created on the system we can see when it was last accessed and so on uh, and we can also go to details and now you can see that there is a bunch of more stuff in, in this details tab so if we look here uh, we can for instance look at origin and have some information about uh, how the picture has been treated. Now we can see that the program um, uh, some information there. Uh, but if we go to the image section and below you see that we have all kinds of information. So we have something that may not be too interesting as a forensic expert here on uh, the image dimensions and uh, resolution and stuff. But if we go even further down to the camera section you can see here that we have the sorry for that we have the camera make and model and uh, so we can see that this camera is taken with an iPhone 8 which can of course be interested if we're I interesting if we're investigating a case where we know that the suspect is uh, actually owns an iPhone 8 uh, and if we go even further down we can see that there is some more information and even down here we have the uh, GPS section so we actually have GPS coordinates that describe where this picture was taken in quite good resolution. Uh, there is one thing you should know about these GPS coordinates or about GPS in general it's that it is uh, maybe not 100% accurate especially not if the uh, device that it, or the, the, the GPS receiver in this case the an iPhone 8 is inside then uh, then the GPS information may not be 100% accurate but it will at least give you a rough idea um, uh, about where this picture was taken um, so that is that's it for EXIF data but uh, I also want to show you some things about Microsoft Office because the Microsoft Office suite actually stores a wider range of extra metadata, extra timestamps and stuff like that so I have a sample here 
Uh, and again, if I just right click it and take properties, that's how I get to the metadata section. Again, we have the file system metadata, but if we click details, we again have a lot of nice uh, a lot of nice information. So in this case I want to start by highlighting the origins field where we have orders and last saved by. So this information is gathered from uh, Office itself. So the first time you as a user start the Office package you will get a question, okay, who, who, who are you? And you will input your name. Um, and whatever you input then is registered in the Windows registry and will be used uh, for this Microsoft Office me metadata. So in this case, orders uh, is, uh, if I'm not completely mistaken, the first creator of this document, which happened, which happened to be me. And you also have last saved by, uh, which also happens to me, be me. So this is very strong evidence that this is, in fact, my document. But there can be discrepancies here. So for instance, maybe there is, uh, there is someone who says, well, uh, this document with a lot of uh, uh, evidence in it was not created by me. Okay, so you go to this tab and you see orders and you, you maybe see that either it is that person who is the order or it, or it isn't and if we're talking company infringement cases or uh, corporate forensics maybe someone uh, is suspected of stealing I don't know a client register or whatever and you find the register on his computer and he claims that says that no uh, I've I'm the I'm the sole order of this document I created it for myself and it's all mine and then you go in and look at the metadata of the file you found and you can see that look here you didn't create it at all someone else did and, and stuff like that. Uh, you can you also have the company. If you look a little bit further down, it's the same thing there. You can also see when a document was last saved. You can see when it it was last printed if it has been printed, and so on and so forth. Uh, there is also some information here on content, so how long it is, uh, and so on and so forth. And again, the file metadata. So that is the parts of metadata that I want to show you for, for this lecture. Uh, before we end, I also want to have a quick look on how it looks if you examine a case in autopsy and uh, that we're going to have a demonstration on in a later case. So right here I'm just inside autopsy and we have our browsing pane here to the left. Uh, whenever we click something in this left pane, the content of it will show up in this pane here. And when I click something in this listing here, I will have deeper information about it down here. So for every file in Autopsy, as well as in any forensic program really, we'll have a number of columns. So you can see here that most of the original metadata, so the modified time, change time, access time, create time, and so on, will be right here in the file listing for easy access. And if you go through, you can, you can even find more metadata. Uh, also, when we mark a file, we have the uh, tab down here that is file metadata where we can look. And again, we have the file metadata. Now, this is a, a text file, as you can see. So there isn't really much metadata to see uh, except for the uh, except for the standard metadata, but if we just go have a quick look on some picture, uh, you can see that again here is a folder with a lot of picture in it. If we choose one, you can again see that we have the we have the file metadata or the NTFS file system metadata with timestamp and size and so on here. Uh, but now we have a results here. Uh, there is a module, or we have the file metadata. And if we look at the file metadata, let's see if we have one with EXIF information somewhere down the line. I had one just before. Okay, let me just quickly turn to, uh, turn to another case where I prepare this. Uh, and I'm just gonna show you real quickly uh, that we can use any forensic uh, suite, but we can use autopsy to extract EXIF data from all pictures that we find. And if we do, uh, we will see information in the results tab, and then we can see the GPS coordinates and 
the camera make and model and if there was a serial number we would also see it down here in the results tab and we can also see it uh, we cannot see it in the file metadata tab and now you see all zeros here for the time fields this is a demonstration picture that I showed you before and this is because I've inputted the data here as individual files and if you input data into autopsy as individual files it's not going to parse the metadata for you uh, so I guess that's it. But this metadata is a very important piece of information that will tell you when a file was created on a system, when it was last modified, who did it, and if we're talking pictures you can see where a picture was taken. In some cases you can see a serial number from where uh, from the camera took the picture that you can cross-reference to some other device that you have uh, that you have taken from a suspect or whatever. So this was it for file metadata. I hope you learned something and carry on.